I can see that I'm busy with Miss Minda. Miss Minda, busy, please. Busy, busy, busy. 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 Are they your suspicion to her? Now, what possible objection can you have to Miss Minda? Well, I don't like her, her, her wiggle. Her what? Her wiggle. Her walk. Oh, I have noticed it. Miss Minda, wait. That, that is walk, please. Oh, that will do. Never do that again during business hours. Never. Now, come, come. Run along, run along like a good little girl, and I promise you the only thing that she'll wiggle is her corolla. But, Richard, now we must have our talk. You'll send to leave and she leaves? I will, Mother. I will, if you'll promise not to come until I send for you. All right, little dear. Remember, I trust you. Since when? Now, Miss Mitchell, where were we? I, uh... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Remarkable speech of Richard Smith in the Randall murder case. Hmm. Yemen and lawyer. Hmm. Oh, my word. Why, that's a picture of me. Why, you couldn't tell me from the murderer. You know, I could sue a firm like this. Sue them for libel. Come, 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 come. Uh, to work. Dictation. Take a letter. You ready? Sue? I... Dignity, please, Miss Minter, during office hours. I'll try it again. Are you ready? Yes, Mr. Smith. That's better. Mr. George Spelvin and Mr. Town, New York, here, sir. Got that? Just a minute. Miss Minter, what is the matter? Mr. Smith. Mr. George Spelvin was the name, and this is the town of New York, dear sir. I am in receipt of your proposition, offering me $1,000 to assist you in the defense of your client accused of, uh, of, uh, dear me, what was that accusation? Uh, murder. Don't tell me. Your suggestion that two weeks in the country would be almost a date. Action. Here it is. We'll make the fee $2,000 and cut the vacation. Gleaming lakes and rose gardens do not appeal to me, as I am a businessman, strictly business. Strictly business. Gleaming lakes and rose gardens. <sighs> That's a pretty thought. Pretty flower. That letter can wait, Miss Minter. Take a note. Uh, Miss Lucille Darling of Annabelle Hotel in New York City. Have you got that? Just a minute. Take your time, Miss Minter. Take your time. My dear Miss Darling, I called at your apartment last Tuesday night four times between the hours of 8 and 12. When you make an appointment with me, you should not fool me. Will you please return my blue silk pajamas? Mr. Smith! Which I loaned you for the art student's ball. Very disrespectfully, Richard... But you know my name, Miss Minter. I don't have to tell you. We'll call it a day, shall we? It's been a very hard day, too. I wonder, uh, do you feel like a cordial? Very cordial. Oh, 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 you little wise guy. <laughs> you may wiggle for me if you like. Yes, that'll do. Mother was right. A very dangerous woman. Doubly dangerous. Andrews. Oh, Andrews. Andrews. Bring a card, would you please? Sorry, sir, but there's not a drink in the house. Mrs. Mantle's order, sir. Oh, how stupid. But you weren't thirsty anyway, were you? No. But she didn't say anything about nothing being on the hip. Good old Andrews. Your Andrews is a perfect container. I mean, retainer. <laughs> Bring some glasses, would you, Andrews? Yes, sir. Well, you said you'd give me a day's trial. How do you like my work? A little, uh, a little rough, uh, but sincere. You consider yourself engaged. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're quite sure that this is fit for a lady? I don't fit anybody, sir. Say no more. Will uh, you want me any more this evening, sir? Not this evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
da di da 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 di da da da. Loose moments. You know, Miss Mendel, all great men must have their moments of relaxation. And the greater the man, the greater the moment. Are you suggesting anything? Anything. Do you like dancing? I love dancing. Is that so? Loose moments. in the Hotel Astor. We'll have a little supper, we'll have a little dance, and... Oh, you have a pretty mouth. Oh, I like your mustache. Really? Well, shall we introduce them? Oh, Mother. I see you have on your rubber heels again. Uh, Mr. Miss Minter just, uh, just met with a serious accident. Yes, Minter. These things are very painful, but they must be endured. There. <laughs> you feeling better? Yes. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Miss Minter's just leaving. Yes, thank you. Will you leave me tomorrow, Mr. Smith? At ten. Ten of the after. Was that Ricky? Huh? Oh, I said ten o'clock. You said after. Did I? Yes, I asked her to come at ten. Well, I wish you, uh, good night. Oh, a very, very, very good night. I'd like to talk to you about something of great importance. Oh, this is an outrage. The idea of meeting important letters like this laying around on my desk. Andrew! What has happened? Oh, I told you. I told, you know I told you. Of course I, I, I Now look, now, now it's happened. Where are you going? I'm going downtown on business. Andrew's my hat, my fist, yes. You are not going out of this house now. I don't have to, Mother. You don't understand. This is a matter of life or death. Andrew, if anybody telephones to me, you tell them that I've gone. Yes. He won't. You have to go. Uh! Mother, would you stoop to a thing like that? I'd do anything to keep you from going out. You don't seem to understand this is for Mrs. Roach, Mrs. Cochran Roach. I don't care what kind of a Roach she is. But I'm handling all her private affairs. You can do the thing, never mind. Uh, her husband is threatened to shoot her, and if he does that, I'll probably lose my thing. If you go, you'll probably lose your life. Let me see that note. That's never. This is private. You mean it's an alibi. Andrew. Take Mr. Smith's hat and stick it. Now, Richard Smith, sit down. And you, listen to me. You know I'm fond of you. Well, anybody can see that, Mother. And you promised Madeline, as long as she was away, that you'd conduct your business here and never go out tonight. A lawyer's life, right, Mother. You were the first one to regret it if you broke your promise to her. And a doctor's life. And you did it because you know how weak you are after they talk. The public demands that the... You wanted her to have a happy, contented home. I certainly did. Well, that's the reason you're not going out tonight. Oh, I'm not going out. Not as long as I'm here to prevent it. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Well, in that case, Mother, you win, with a couple of pounds to spare. Richard, <laughs> I dare say you'll think I'm a very foolish old woman. Oh, no, Mother, no, 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 not old. A little foolish, perhaps, but certainly not old. Thank you. <laughs> I bought you a new present today. You bought something? Uh, For me? Well, the idea. <laughs> well, what was it? Yes, 
Well, is it animal, vegetable, or mineral? <laughs> Just a little reminder. It'll make a wonderful companion piece to all men. Baby feet. <laughs> Baby's footsteps on the stairs. Baby's footsteps on the stairs. I hear the unknown. I'm the little feet. Get it down, get it down. Oh, the stairs. <laughs> oh, Ma. Yes, Richard. That's my secret ambition. To hear the fact that you're not going to get your feet. Oh, Ma. Oh, Rich. <laughs> Richard, you're now independently successful, and there's no further need to be gone. And now, Mother, don't flatter. Oh, Richard, I must tell the pretty father of little feet. All right, All right. I'll, I'll make a note of it. And tonight, I don't care what happens to Mrs. Cocker Roach. Andrews? Andrews? <laughs> Oh, you see that, Mother? My voice is gone again. I've been talking altogether too much. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is there something I can do? No, no, just let me stay in here quietly and alone and rest all by myself. And my dressing gown. <coughs> yes. Now, there, Mother, doesn't that prove to you that I can be trusted? I do trust you, Richard. Yes. I do. Well, good night, Mother. And I'm going to go clean up every now and then to remind you of it. Yes. You, you look, look in, and I look out. Well, good night. <laughs> good night. Oh, and I have a surprise for you. A little later on. Oh, that's splendid. Good night. <laughs> well, good night. Say what it is. Well, you see, if you tell me, it won't be a surprise. <laughs> oh, you dear, ridiculous boy. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're in a good humor tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm so well, could you close your mouth long enough to tell me what you're waiting for? Yes, I didn't want to tell you in front of Mrs. Mandel, sir, but there's a young lady waiting to see you. A young lady? Yes, sir. <laughs> to see me? Yes, sir. What kind of young lady? Well, sir, I should say a very pleasant young lady. Blonde hair, blue eyes, uh, five foot two, 106, and all around 34 with... Uh, That'll do. If I want to know anything more about the young lady, I'll find it out for myself. What is all around 34? What you want? Uh, business, sir. She was sent by a mutual friend. You know as well as I do that it's long after business hours. <laughs> and besides, my voice is gone again. I won't, won't see anybody. I know, Mr. Smith, but I couldn't come any other time. Can't you see me? Why, who said I couldn't see you? That will do, Andrews. Yes, sir, I, I thought it would say. Pardon me, but haven't I seen you somewhere? Well, that depends. I may not have been there. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 I see that one. <laughs> but I know your face. I'm uh, sure that we must have met. Well, no, 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 don't tell me. I'll get to it in just a minute, yes. <laughs> won't, you, uh, won't you sit down? Thank you. Yes. Oh, I'll get you, yes. I know your face. No. Why, it's Miss Odea. Yes. Diane Odea. My favorite screen actress. Really? How nice. My, I feel that we should be very, very good friends. I've seen so much of you. What? Oh, I mean, I've seen you so often. Oh, <laughs> I'm afraid you're making 